hello guys welcome back to civil engineers youtube channel in this practical video we have a lot of technical mistakes and the construction of this floor beam with rcc slab so let's get start guys if you have any question related this video so you can comment i will try to reply your answer the covered area of this rcc slab is about 8000 square feet if you see guys this is floor beam construction inside floor beam you can see they already placed the slab steel reinforcement but unfortunately you can see they placed the laping length at the distance of l by 4 so this is one of the technical big mistake in this construction here we don't need to provide laping length so this is the place to provide extra steel rods this is one technical term Next, guys, you can see, as I told you before, the, the, the second technical mistake you can see, they already placed again inside this floor beam. You can see they placed the steel reinforcement of RCC slab, but they will provide the lapping again, as you can see on the other side. So here we have more than 30% lapping in the construction of this RCC slab with floor beam. Be careful if you are working on construction site. So before starting steel reinforcement construction, you should do the proper measurement for RCC slab and floor beam. Otherwise, if you don't know the proper measurement of the slab or beam, so you will place a lot of lapping length in the construction of any RCC structure. So therefore, proper cutting length is very important in steel reinforcement. So this is the first priority to take the proper dimensions of RCC slab because from the factory we have the 12 meter or 40 feet, 40 feet steel length. So therefore don't provide the lapping as you can see in this practical video. You can see clearly, again the lapping length is placed here at this junction between beam and column also inside floor beam. You can see clearly we have here four steel rods at the bottom and two at the top. The spacing of stirrups are about 8 inches. At the distance of L by 4, the spacing is about, about 5 inches. So here this is the junction between beam and column. So especially at this place, lapping is not allowed. Before starting placing of steel reinforcement, the surface of the shuttering should be cleaned properly. Also guys, you can see they provided the oil on the top of this surfacing of shuttering. So this is very important. It should be clean as you can see in this video. The lapping should not be provided alternately. So this is the third or fourth technical big mistake. Guys, you can see the lapping should not be provided alternately. But for the lapping, look here guys, it should be provided alternately. But they cut the steel reinforcement for this slab at the same dimension. So therefore the lapping will be at one point or at the same point. On both directions, you can see the lapping is already provided. As I told you in many videos, the lapping should be provided at the place of L by 5, where L is the span between two columns or the span between slab. This is a short video but very important to know the technical terms of steel reinforcement on construction side. After completion of steel reinforcement, the concrete cover or concrete blocks should be provided under the steel reinforcement and the depth of that cover should not be less than 25 mm but you can keep up to 25 to 40 mm or from 1 to 1.5 inches you can decide any one of them the plastering tape is already dead so this is very important already they did 
so this is nice this is the place to provide bent up bar or crank bar but bent up bar crank bar are extra steel rods but extra steel rods are very strengthful or very stronger compared to crank bar or bent up bar as i told you before this is the total covered area for this slab which is about 8000 square feet hope this short video can help you thanks for watching see you in next video goodbye